Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm going to show you how to fade a UI element in less than 60 seconds. Here we go. Go to the Unity Asset Store, download DoTween in your Unity project, create a UI element and add a canvas group, create a script called Fade UI, add the namespace at the top called using dg.tween, create a reference to your canvas group, create a boolean called isFaded, create a method called Fader and make sure you set isFaded equal to the opposite of xFaded every time we launch this method and then write an if statement for if faded is true then do our fading group canvas dot do fade and then in brackets we have where we're going to fade to, so the alpha of one, and then over two seconds. And then you can write an else statement that if we run this, we can then fade to zero. So we're fading out over two seconds. Then we can create a quick button, add UI fade to this, and then add our canvas group, and then make sure to link our button up and then test out our button. And you can see we can fade between fading out and fading in. So hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm just gonna give you the slightly longer version of being able to fade UI, and we're gonna use an asset called DoTween, which helps us do that by just tweening between two values, and it's specifically on a canvas group, so we can fade between one and zero on the alpha, and this asset helps us do it in one line of code, and it's really awesome, and it has about a thousand other uses for animations and anything that sort of moves or transitions between a position, a number, or a set of actual values. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to check down all the links in the description for all the sales on Humble Bundle, the Unity Asset Store, and all the savings that you can make across game dev. Throw a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to be all always up to date with what I'm creating. So first of all, if you're in DoTween, make sure that you open it in Unity or add it to your assets. So it should open it up like this. So it'll be the DoTween underscore hitch or tween version two. And you can just import that into your scene and it'll be ready to go. You can look at the documentation and it shows you exactly how you need to use it. But first of all is what I've got is I've just created a canvas. So right click UI and choose a canvas or you can create an image or I've just made a panel in this case. So you can right click to make a panel and it will create your canvas for you. And I've just got one I pre-made. So all it is is a panel and you need to make sure that you add a canvas group to this panel. So you could say add component and you want to add canvas group and a canvas group, as you can see here, it lets us fade this panel from solid to fully opaque from zero and one. So you want to make sure the image is fully black and the alpha is all the way at one. I do have a button, which I've just created, which we can add an event to so we can just control it, but you could do this any other way. You could do it on a start method whenever you want to control it, but it's a nice way if I just use a button. Right, we're gonna create a script. I'm just going to call this Fade UI. I'm gonna open that up. And what we're gonna do, right, is use the namespace at the top to access everything that we need for the tweening. So we'll do dg.tweening with a semicolon. So this allows us to access everything that we need. So then what we can start by doing is write a private boolean and say is faded and we can set that equal to false so at the start we've not faded in we're just on a black screen let's say as an example i'm going to write square brackets serialize field and have a reference to my canvas group so i'll say private canvas group and just call it my fading group then we'll write a public method which will i'm just going to call this the fader and this is the button or the method the button is going to press and we'll say that is faded is equal to exactly the opposite of is faded every single time we do it. So if it's false, it'll be then set to true. If it's true, it'll be then set to false. So then we can say that if is faded is true at any point, we can then write our my fading group dot do fade. So in this case, if is faded equals true, we want to then fade out. So we want to say that the alpha is then equal to zero because this value has to be between zero and one or anywhere in between there. And then we can do this over a space of two seconds. And then we can write a, just a quick else statement with the exact same line and say that my fading group dot do fade is going to be at one at this point over the case of two seconds. And then what you can do is you can go to your button, add your UI fade script, and it will be looking for the canvas group. So I'll add it from my panel. And then I'm just going to add the script to that slot and say my UI fade and I'm just going to select the fader and now when we press play you can see it fades in and then it fades out and I can press that as many times as I want and adjust it as I need to. So then what we could do is create two private integers and have a fade in and a fade out amount and have our fade in amount because when we fade in we'd go from black 
to fully blizzable. So we'll go to zero. And then in the fade out, we'd go from nothing to one. So we'll do that in this case. And with that being said, we could then add those two. So the zero. So we want to, if we've not faded in yet, we want to fade in. And then if we've not faded out any point, we could fade out. And then we can also create two durations that we might want to use. So we could write square back serialized field private float and then fade in duration and we'll create set that equal to two seconds and we create one for fading out then we can create a fade out duration and add the fade in duration here so we can specifically specify in the editor with that being said we could set the fade in duration to two and set the fade out duration to five so it'll take much longer so you see we're faded in over two seconds and then faded out now are the five seconds so it takes much longer so there's a, just a few ways to control this really nicely i'll put this really simple script up on my patreon and make sure you do check out do tween because it's really awesome and it has so many other extensions so be sure to let me know what you think of this tutorial do come and check out my patreon to support the channel and get access to over 145 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else do come and join me on discord if you want to chat check out my great assets on the unity asset store and massive savings on my website and a big thank you to all my patrons including peter steiner raheem whittaker tan yanlin david 76 sammy romani gene pomyu nagoyan matt cindy dino zach Manos Barakas, Terence Conrad, Gade Linston, Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Randall X, Mumu Zoo, Zenny Ledger, and Darren M. So thank you for everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.